What's up guys? Welcome back to 4x4 Jumpman and we're just excited to go to the show and shine which is a 4x4 show in Sydney. So heading there right now. Let's go. This is my first time doing a 4x4 show and I didn't realize I would be selected to have my car display at the show and I'm so happy and super excited to be at this show. You know what time it is. Marvin Devine. Hoover. Axel. You know how we do. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to 4x4 Jumpman and we're here at the 4x4 show. And check it out. It's just open. Not many people yet. But I've got Patriot Games behind me. I've got Fulcrum. And I've got Bob Jane Timot. And that's where King Wheels Australia is at. So we've got the Mack truck here by Patriot Campers. Check out this big fat rig. We got our show and shine ticket. Patriot campers are behind me and they've got their Patriot campers and they're all the trailers. 
So this is one of the trailers for Patriot Campus. Darchi at Dogi was also at the show and as well as Piranha. What's up guys, so we're here at Show and Shine and my car is in the competition and we're going to do a walk around. This right here Show number nine. So it's the first time the National 4x4 Outdoor Show was done in Sydney and I was stoked to be one of the first to do the show and shine competition. Plus I got free parking and free tickets.
we're just here at PBS Army and these guys have really cool cars. They're massive and they can customize it. They've got nice lights, a lot of leather uh, inside and it looks pretty damn good. So we just have Mitz Alloy stand and this is this is Livin, which is Liv's car, which is the d -box. Snatch clothing stand was so packed. The popularity of 24 7 four wheel drive is just unbelievable, and the famous Dirt 30 was on display. They were also filming bees in the shed live during the show. Could have been any worse, I suppose. Oh, 
Hey, what's up guys? So we're just at hall 6 and this is mainly some caravans and a lot of outdoor stuff. It's just right behind me. We're going to check out one of their camper vans. Here at Sydney Polo Drive Club, and these are the wings. Deciding the difference between the minutest thing and the next minutest thing, and then you get this great chat with a bloke, and then you lie under it. Sometimes the most impressive thing of four drive is not how great it looks, it's what like what's underneath the story and the history. But totally it's like understand. making the decisions. I'm glad there's more than one judge. Now, off-road capability and functionality. It's a focus on functionality with the capabilities. It might not be pretty. But when it needs to get serious, it is the vehicle for you to get home. That is the rough and tumble category. Now, in runner-up position with a $250, can come forward Jonathan Edler, please. Yes. I said the name right. Go on, Jonathan. Hand stands now. 2013 Mitsubishi. And he drove all the way from Brisbane. A Legend X merch pack and a trophy. If you could come forward, please. 
Samantha Bond in the Toyota Hilux. Oh yeah, another Hilux. She's never been in four-wheel drive. It's more about the look on the street than it does out in the bush. So I'm, I'm, I'm picking my words. So Urban Stallion, second place, two hundred and fifty dollars. Boom boom. Andrew Bastani in the 21 Jeep Wrangler. Yes, well done. National 4x4 show, Chris Bryant in the 2019 Dodge Ram. Woo! Couldn't miss that one. He's, he's hobbling. There's a story in that. Yeah. Standing all day in the rain, just puts a man's back out. I'd hobble him to step out of it. <laughs> Of show today, this is, ladies and gentlemen. Up here, we've got a four thousand dollar voucher for opposite lock. So give them a big round of applause. And while you're going, also the same amount package from Bob Jane and Monster Wheels. We've got the Legend X and some for you competitors standing in it all day. But you put your hands together for Abdul Hassoun in the 1982 Toyota FJ40 as best overall. Nice vehicle out there. Very much. Abdul, you got something to say? Best to show. You must have something to say. <laughs> what can I say? I was a bit uh, hesitant to come out today because of the rain because I had no roof. And then I said, nothing's going to stop me. I put, my, put the shelter on the gazebo and I bring it out. Beat the rain. And hopefully I can beat the rain back home. <laughs> Give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, also give our sponsors a big round of applause for helping us here with Officer Lock and uh, Bob Jane and Legend X. Here we go, we go. Oh. Please like and subscribe to 4 by 4 Jumpman, and I'll see you in the next one.